Okay, now let us discuss this situation. In the United States, the Florida police have arrested two six-year-old babies. Now, the school decided to call the police after these kids were just being six-year-old. The police came. They arrested them. One was processed at the juvenile center before being released. The other was released and not processed. Now, this is very troubling and worrying. Now, one can remember a time in antiquity when people had to take their babies and hide them because King Herod wanted to kill them. Now, I have to ask this question, are we going round in circles because our children seem to be getting younger and younger as these attacks keep happening from adults who are placed in position of power that is supposed to protect them? right now what is going to happen next are they going to go in the hospital wait until the baby is born and arrest those babies and say that they are making too much noise and drinking too much milk this is absolutely ridiculous and people pay the authorities taxes to come and arrest six-year-old babies now let that sink in for a while we definitely see that there's an attack on our children right and we need to make this clear that it should not be tolerated any form of attack on kids like this especially from adults in position of power but in the united states the authorities are a bit comfortable with attacking children in utah the police pulled a gun on a 10 year old child that was playing on the lawns of his grandmother no mark you this is coming from a country that in a couple of years behind us, in 1944, they executed a 14-year-old child by the name of George Stinner Jr. And he was just 14 years old when they sent him to the electric chair because they accused him that at 14, he could crush the skull of a 7-year-old and an 11-year-old child as well. No, it depends on your resource material. Some say you had to sit on a Bible, others say telephone directory. But nonetheless, we see the state turning on our children. It's not the first, and it will continue until they decided it is time to do a George Tina again. Right? So we see this happen in the past right a 14 year old charged and killed and when he was placed on the electric chair he could not even fit the dead mask fell off his face to expose his face with the tears stained his face now people you need to ask important questions and you need to pay attention they have arrested two six-year-old kids what is there to stop them from having another george stinner jr remember these stories i do not make them up i do not make them up that's why i say judgment is coming to man this cannot continue you cannot attack innocent children like this as adults and expect that the most i will be pleased about it no he will cast judgment upon man let us not be in our feelings when that happen i will continue to pray for our children and say glory be to the most high in these troubled times